Hey guys, Nikki Bubblegum here today. Oh man, I didn't mean to shake that. Are you okay? Okay, then we'll go ahead and go look at this. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing out the Morphe Matte Foundation in F1.120. When I went to the Ulta store, they had them added the Morphe Foundation and I was so excited. So I bought it and now we're going to see how it covers up all this red broken out hot mess but before that i'm gonna put on some primer so i'll be right back because i almost forgot okay so we're gonna be just using the smashbox minimizing pour primer stuff yeah that's what's all over my face right now yes okay i'm gonna stop being creepy okay so now that we're all primered we're ready to go and I'm just gonna put some on my little pinky doodad spongy blender yeah sorry clearly i haven't made a video in like over a week and my, i've lost my damn mind so it is friday i am off early on fridays now because i just got a new schedule to where i get off at 12. it's like 2 30 and i'm just now filming because i decided to take a nap because i was tired so yeah um, we're just doing my makeup at like almost 3 o'clock today. And then I'm going to go out shopping with my friend Natasha and it's going to be a lot of fun. And oh my goodness, this is, I put way too much. I'm just going to cover my neck too now. And my ears. And I look super fucking pale with this super bright. Okay, so right now I know I look hella crazy, but I really think it's just a super brand new ring uh, white light that I have. Because it does not look this... See, it doesn't look that white in person, like, I know, like, I was like, dang, it looks so much lighter in person, <laughs> or whiter on the video than it does in person, because I was like, dang, I look like a ghost, and I know everybody's gonna be like, girl, that's too light for you, but trust me, like, it, it blends in with my skin, like, you can see no lines, I think it's just a super bright white light that I'm using right now, like, Jesus, I look like I was covered in paper. But, <laughs> to get back to the whole point, like, it covered up that giant red marky thing that was right there. Okay, I'm gonna call it a marky thing, I know it's a huge giant zip, but you know what I mean. You saw it. The coverage is really nice, it's not super heavy, even though I put way too much on my sp So a little bit goes a long way, clearly, because I am definitely very high coverage right now, because I just keep... And it's pretty much dry. I don't know why I keep, like, attacking my face with a sponge, but, you know, just in case. And I'm enjoying talking to you guys, and it also feels really nice. Like a face massage. A pink little soft spongy face massage. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and get into the review then. Yeah? Okay. So, I, mean, I know. I deserve to be looking at it like I'm crazy. But I have cute little cat ears. You can't be mad at Kitty Cat, right? So I really like how it feels. It's not like sticky or like heavy. I doesn't feel oily or anything on my face. Um, my face is kind of a little peely around the nose. And you can't really see it all that much unless you get super close. And I feel like it blends really well. Even when I put too much, I don't really see any lines. I like it and I like that it's matte because I get oily and super shiny really fast so I definitely like it. it also it wasn't super expensive I don't remember how much it was so sorry about that but yeah I like it so I definitely give it like a four out of five and they had such a huge color range like ridiculous like this was like one of five and then there was like even like three sets of lower co lighter colors all the way up to a lot darker so I would definitely suggest giving it a try I so far really like it and it's extremely <sighs> so I'm just gonna kind of want to see how easy it'd be to blend this out with it this little contour wet and wild stick I feel like it's blending really well with other makeup 
I mean, even if you were to use a liquid instead of more of like a cream stick or a powder. I don't know. I really like it. Anyway, I would definitely suggest giving it a try. I feel like it works really well. I like how light it feels. And it's super high coverage. It's really covering the acne and the patchy skins really, really well. So, yeah. Thumbs up. Let me know if you like this video. And if... You're going to give this a try, let me know. If you like this foundation, let me know what you've, if you've tried it, let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it, um, your favorite aspects of it. I've always been a huge fan of high coverage foundation with the whole acne issue. I need it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, my beautiful people, and I'll see you later. Bye.